so very good morning everyone today we starting the new course digital image processing in that first we learn about digital image fundamentals okay so before starting the course let us see the basic definition so what is image in your point of view what is image image means some pictorial information pictorial information or image is a one type of signal right image is a one type of signal which consists of pictorial information so how another way of definition in your point of view so image is a projection of three dimensional scene into two dimensional plane so image is a this is a two dimensional plane okay in this plane we representing 3d scene projection of 3d scene into 2d plane okay so this is some image okay so technically how we define image so technically image is a two dimensional function okay image is a two dimensional function represented as f of t means image is a two dimensional signal okay f of x comma t what are those what is f what is s and what is t so these are coordinates x comma t are coordinates coordinates so in one dimension we call it as time domain because in one dimensional function the signal is represented as f of t so where t is a time domain so here we are using two dimensional function so two axes are there so these two axes are combinedly called as spatial domain spatial domain or spatial coordinates spatial domain or spatial coordinates so we represent the sntr spatial coordinates then what is f c the image is a two dimensional function t and s and here there is a image two dimensional represent so the image has some information right the information at this location we have some information so this information is called intensity we call it as intensity so where f is the amplitude of the image called as intensity or gray level we call it as intensity or gray level okay some information okay so this information this part is called intensity okay intensity or gray level in further classes we will learn in detail about what is intensity what is gray level okay so what is image image is a simply a two dimensional function f of x comma t where s comma t are spatial coordinates and f is called intensity or gray level of the image okay then what is digital image so digital image is nothing but image already we learned the definition of image so when the values f means amplitude and spatial coordinates are finite and discrete then we called as digital image okay because 
In previously, we defined image is a two-dimensional function f of x comma t, p and s. So everything is continuous. The information is continuous. Means the coordinates consist of zero to infinity values, zero to infinity. But digital image, the values are finite. The values are finite as well as discrete. Means finite means we can call that zero, one, two, three, up to some range, zero to hundred, or zero to fifty, zero to thousand. Okay, all are finite, and also finite. Uh, sometimes finite means zero point one is finite, zero point two is finite, and we said finite as well as discrete means floating values are not possible. Only integers means one, two, three, four, five. So the values of these s, t. And f intensity, all are finite and discrete. Finite and discrete. Then we called image as digital image. We represented as f of x comma y. Okay. So for digital image, the notation is f of x comma y. For continuous image or normal image, we represent it as f of x comma t. Okay. So for continuous image, what is the range of intensity? Zero to infinity. Because for continuous, it is infinite. But digital image, the values are finite. So the range is. Zero to l minus one, where l is number of gray levels. Number of gray levels. Okay. Number of gray levels. So the gray levels and the intensity range we learn in detail in further classes. For that, now just remember, l minus one is number of gray levels. Or another way, we can define digital image as the digital image is composed of finite number of elements. Means the information, whatever the image, image means some information represented in two dimension, right? So the image consists of finite elements, like this, some information, finite elements. Which has a particular location and value means this is one particular location, and it has some value. Okay. So these values are called picture element, image element, pels, pixels. Okay. Means digital image is composed of pixels. So what is pixel? Pixel is a finite number of element which has particular location and particular value. Okay, which has particular location and particular value in spatial domain, in spatial domain or spatial coordinates. So, for digital image, what is the spatial coordinates range? Zero to l minus one. Zero to l minus one. Okay. The pixel is term mostly used to denote out of these other names, pic picture element, image element, spells. Mostly we use pixel term. Pixel means the elements in the digital image are called pixels. Okay. Means the intensity f of x comma y, the value, the value of f of x comma y is called pixel at particular location. Suppose x comma y location coordinates is zero zero. For this zero zero, 
we have some value intensity value that f of 0 comma 0 we have some value let us think that is 2 so 2 is pixel 2 is pixel which is located at 0 comma 0 in spatial coordinate okay this element is called pixel okay then what is image processing so what is processing then we learn image digital image then what is processing processing is nothing but some modifications some modification to these signals so whether it is image signals or time signal speed signal whatever the thing so we performing some modifications to the signals okay we performing some modifications to signal so what is digital image processing then processing digital images by means of computers because through nowadays through computers only we process the digital images okay so what is the processing includes processing includes some modification like filtering okay or enhancing improving the quality removing noise all are some processings okay so digital image processing also defined as computer imaging nowadays we call it as computer imaging acquisition and processing of visual information by means of digital computers so what is acquisition in name itself is there acquire acquire means capturing the real time images real time images okay. capturing the real time images so what is the need of image processing why we have to learn so image processing levels are so many So it can cover so many processes, low level, mid level, high level processing, okay, low level, mid level and high level processing. So what is low level, what is high level? So low level means input and outputs are images only. Inputs and outputs are images only. Mid level means outputs are attributes extracted from input image. What does that mean? High level. And symbols of recognition of individual images. What does these three steps? Low level means inputs and outputs are images if you want to process some image okay means input you are giving is image only output also that image only we get exact image whatever image we taken output also that image only but with some modification the dimensions of image does not change dimensions of image does not change mid level means outputs are attributes extracted from input image means it may be foreground or background we extracting some part of the image or cropping the image means if you separate these things what happens the dimensions of the image is varied dimensions of images are varied okay this is the mid level image processing techniques means cropping foreground removing okay 
some more, more thing all comes under mid level next high level high level means ensemble of recognition the image is suitable for identification of something identification identification and recognition of some objects so the images are suitable for identifying some information okay this is the digital image processing processing is some modifications so the processing levels are three levels low level mid level and high level So low level process mostly involves reducing noise, contrast enhancement, image sharpening. Mid level involves segmentation, okay, classification, etc. In high level, making a sense, which are used for recognizing the objects. Okay, these are the three levels. Next importance. One of the importance of image processing is vision, human vision. Okay, because vision is the most advanced in our sense part. Okay, so human perception plays important role in digital image processing. And one more, humans can vision only visual band of electromagnetic spectrum. But sometimes images with other range because EM spectrum has so many waves, radio waves, microwaves, right? Radar signals, ultraviolet rays, infrared rays, so many rays, so many waves are there. In that also imaging is possible. Using those rays also imaging is possible. So only using visual band, humans can visual. But in remaining spectrum, electromagnetic spectrum, we have so many rays. Using those rays also, we get images, but which are not understand by humans, which are not understand by humans, but it can understand by computers can understand by computers. So some of those are useful in image processing are ultrasound, microscopy, computer generated images. Okay, let us see some application. So mostly the image processing uh, is for why we need image processing so why we need image processing for improving the pictorial information for human vision purpose. Okay, for human vision purpose. And next one is for data storage, transmission and representation for automatic perception. Means for computer purpose, computer vision purpose. This is for human vision and this is for computer vision, okay, computer vision. So origin, where this uh, digital image process first started. So this is the first image which was processed, okay. How it is processed? So why it is processed? So this is the image actually captured and this image is want to send from London to New York. Okay, London to New York. So to send this information to London to New York, we perform some compression. We perform one technique that is compression, reducing the size of the image, reducing the size of the image 
okay because after reducing of the size of the image it took 3 hours to send this information from london to new york it is sent through the submarine cables through submarine cables generally the captured image takes more than one week to transfer more than one week to transfer after performing compression technique which is one of the image processing technique reducing the size of the image they send this image within 3 hours within 3 hours so this is the origin of digital image processing from this after that so after compression see there is some quality less for our vision there is no clarity so after that they introduce the enhancement technique means which improves the quality of the image for human purpose which improves the quality of the image so sources of image how the images are formed using em spectra next optics ultrasonic electronically or uh, through computers also we can produce images let us see how the images looks different types of images so whatever the images captured through cameras your phones are using visual rays right means the information is clearly visible to you information is clearly visible okay whatever the images are obtained from your cameras means electronic devices okay these are visible let us see remaining types of images from electron energy spectrum electromagnetic spectrum some of the energy by magnetic spectrums are gamma rays so gamma ray imaging is mostly used in medicines and astronomical observation x rays also for medicines medical diagnostics uv rays uv rays are used for lithography lithography already learned in vlsi design for layout design we use lithography microscopy laser biomedical imaging okay next visible and infrared for astronomy remote sensing microwave bands are used for radar signals okay radio band for mri scanning okay let us see those images see these images are gamma ray images okay these images are gamma ray images to know in detail information in detail information we have to learn about in detail more about these signals gamma rays what are those okay for that we have to know about medical medical information we must have medical knowledge to analyze these images we must have the knowledge of medicals all right so these images are generated these images are generated using gamma rays these are x ray images which are generated using x ray band okay next to uv rays using uv rays these types of images are generated next to light microscopy these are light microscopy images next to visual the first three are visual rays so satellite images 
visual ray satellite image these are the infrared images infrared images this is radar image okay. and this is mri images next this one is ultrasound image ultrasound image these are all ultrasound image these are the different images based on the electromagnetic spectrum okay electromagnetic spectrum so till now what we learned good in today's class what is image right next what is digital image next image processing and what are the levels included in image processing next we will learn about electromagnetic spectrum based image types okay next importance of image processing need of image processing and that is sources of image processing okay these all things we learn in today's class so what is image it is a two dimensional function f of x comma t where s and t are spatial coordinate f is intensity if f s and t are finite and discrete we call it as digital image so what is processing some modifications to the image okay so it can be done by means of digital computers so we also called as computer imaging computer imaging so to perform the image processing we have certain levels that is low level mid level high level low level means the techniques are pre processing enhancement image shopping here whatever the image is given as input the output also same thing but mid level we get attributes what are the attributes means attributes is nothing but foreground or background or some patterns of the images patterns of the images patterns okay of the image high level means we analyzing the images for recognition purpose recognition purpose okay recognition purpose so mostly importance of the image processing is not only for human purpose because human purpose humans can visual only visual band information visual band information but for computers they can understand many types of images many types of images so generally through the electromagnetic spectrum means the rays generated from em spectrum images are formed 
humans can visible only visual rays images formed on based on visual rays but for other rays we get some information so we design we have different types of images so different sources for the images some of them are ultraviolet rays in ultrasound radar cells everything all comes under some sources of image processing so need of the image processing is mainly to improve the quality for human vision purpose as well as for storage and transmission purpose so uh, what is the objective of this subject what is the use of this subject so we provide the information about image processing and transforms and we will learn about enhancement methods segmentation and compression techniques in this course okay we will learn about some image processing approaches next introduction to transforms for image transform and next enhancement method segmentation and compression method after completion of this course what are the outcomes what the students can do so they can provide the relationship between the pixels and they perform 2d transforms which transform is used for images okay next they can understand how to enhance the images and they can perform enhancement okay next restoration some segmentation morphological processing compression all processes can be done after completion of the course okay so what are the textbooks we have to refer this is the standard textbook refer c gonzales okay this is the standard textbook next one is jayraman the jayraman is mostly for reference purpose only mostly follow this textbook okay for this next references for references use human vision for scotty ubuntu and akj mostly this one AKJ is for image transforms. For image transform, refer AKJ. This is the standard textbook for image transforms. So for applications for latest technologies in image processing, you want to learn about latest and upcoming trends in the. image processing we use some journals we have some journals so let us see this so i triple transaction t means transactions okay so in image processing okay in medical imaging computer vision pattern analysis and machine intelligence pattern recognition computer vision and image understanding image and vision computing okay we have this fields okay we have this field how to check this thing go through i triple e explore dot i triple e dot r this is the website in this website you can select journals or you can directly go to 
IEEE transaction in image processing. We get one link. In that, we have so many latest topics, so many latest technologies involved in image processing. So journals, okay. Next to conferences. So in conferences, we have different types. CVPR, okay. International Conference on Computer Vision, ACM Multimedia, IC, IPI, SPIC, okay. These are different conferences in image processing. So what is the difference between conference and uh, journal? Journal mean generated outputs. Outputs are generated. The, okay. We, they introduced some new technology. Okay. Introduced some new technology which is success. Which is success. Okay. They provide the success information. That is journal. Conference means they're providing ideas. Providing ideas for new technology. How we do? Okay. Providing new ideas for technology. New. Okay. That is the difference between conference and journal. Okay. So you can go through these website and visual and search the latest technologies latest technologies available here okay so up to now these are the fundamentals of digital images in next class we will learn about fundamental steps involved in digital image processing okay thank you